problematic for a man to be exploited for money. How, how in the world could you ever make those claims? Because how would a man be traumatized for losing $200? Because they feel like they were taken advantage of the same way a woman would if you lied to her for sex, right? Uh, <laughs> you said you had a sugar daddy. What? Uh, just one? Multiple sugar daddies? I had daddies? two. Two sugar daddies. Uh, how long did you have each of them? So one of them lasted like a week. But he gave me like... Lasted a week? Yeah. Okay. And he, he gave me like $500. Okay. And he DM'd me on Instagram. He said, I'll give you money for this picture. And it was a... Uh, sponsor bikini picture and i was just like well how much do you want for it like i'll dm it to you and he's like i'll give you 500 bucks i said you're lying mm -hmm. and he's like what's your venmo and i sent it to him 500 bucks was in my account okay and then wait did you send it yeah oh, okay. i sent it after because i thought he was lying yeah and then the other sugar daddy um i don't know where i met him from i think we have mutual friends because he's in the military and he's stationed down in san diego and he'll mm -hmm. just send me like money like here and there like He'll be like, hey, like, what are you doing? And I'm like, nothing. He goes, do you want to get your nails done? I'm like, sure. He'll send me like 60 bucks. Or if he knows like I'm going out with friends, he'll are send me Are you still me, talking like, to him? No. This is like two months ago. How long were you involved with this guy? Um, before my last relationship to the current one, it was like a three-month time span. So it was like then, and then it was like on and off for like since I was a senior in high school. Or with the sugar daddy? Yeah. So two or three years then? Yeah. It's been a while. And he would just send you money. How much money do you think total he sent you? Maybe like 10 grand. How old was he? He's like 23. 23. Yeah, because we're only a couple years apart. And you've been, it sounded like you've been in a couple of relationships. At any point, were you receiving money from him while you were in a relationship? No. Really? Yes. You can look at my Venmo history. Well, I'll pull I'm, that up right now. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, it. But you said you were on and off with the sugar daddy for uh, two to three years. Um, and so uh, you said he'd send you $10,000. Did you ever send him any revealing photos or anything like that? No. Or? He just wants someone to talk to him. Just like... Just talk. Yeah. Did you guys ever meet up in person? Um, we met up one time. It was because there was, it was his family, or not his family, his brother. I knew his brother, and it was when he was coming back home from basic, and that was the only time I saw him. Did you guys hook up or anything? Nope. I don't know. What, how old was he? At that point? Yeah. 19. The fucker, 19. Bro, these fucking guys are ruining the dating market. <laughs> there um, are a lot of men in the military that do that. Yeah. I have a lot That's of friends simp? that, yeah. yeah. I have a lot of simps. friends that have told me um, <laughs> that men, like army guys or Marines, will send them money just because I don't understand it, but it's very common. Buy a Corvette oh. or some bullshit. Yeah. Buy a fucking Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> Waste your money on that <laughs> shit. Just, well, they really, they'll just send money to just like any fat floozy that, that is around. That I mean, that's that's yeah. what you think they do? Um, there are a lot of uh, yeah, bro. stuff yeah. like that that happens it's, in, honestly, the, it's in the, the military. military. You'd be sure. very surprised. It's the plastics it's in the water, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad, but it happens. What is often. going on to our men? Damn, that's, really that's crazy. Um, you're Christian, right? Me? Yeah. Yes. Uh, what denomination? Um, Southern Baptist. Southern Baptist, okay. Uh, you said you did send a guy like a bikini photo? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Andrew, question for you. Does this, uh, is that considered sex work? Yes. Uh, so how do you reconcile doing sex work with your Christian faith? You think that's sex work? Yes. You, you sent a, you received money for like a, was it a nude photo? Or? No, it was a bikini and it's posted on my Instagram too. Why so did how pay, is that, why did well, how is that not the, mm -hmm. the purpose of that? is not to sell sexualization for money. How is that not prostitution? I'm trying to think. Well, don't try too hard. <laughs> That's literally what my brain does all the time. <laughs> it works a little slow. Um. Would you agree that doing, say like a woman uh, does only Hang on, let her answer, please. Oh, okay. I would see like from both point of views, like yeah, it's something like I shouldn't have done in the moment, but I, 
in the time frame, like, I needed money because there was something going on with my horse and I needed the money. So it was kind of like a ego, or not like an ego. It was out of my characteristic or character trait to do that. Would I do that again? No. But on the flip side, I do see how you can see it as it is prostitution in a way. No, no, no. I'm not asking how you think I see it. I've told you how I see it. I'm asking you how that could be anything other than selling sexualization for money. How is it anything other than that? I don't think it is. Yeah. So, I mean, and is that not prostitution? Yeah. Yeah. So you did engage in a form of prostitution, right? Yeah. Saying that is incompatible <laughs> with Christian ethics, correct? Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh -huh. I mean, that's right. all right. Just it, it's fine. Just you know, like like I said, that whole accountability thing. Um, I don't see how it could be anything other than that. That's all. It does come like yeah, the accountability part. I think that like yeah. a lot of people like it sounds weirder than when you like lay it down and when it's laid down and when you say it and you break it up like you just did. It's like. <gasps> Oh, my God. Yeah, well, but, yeah. I, I agree with you. So I think you make a great point here with the normalization in society, how people can kind of do all sorts of mental gymnastics, that they don't think the thing that they're engaging in is the thing they're engaging in. There's all sorts of societal pressures and this and that. But I don't think that that gives you a pass on the accountability front, right? So I think, yeah. I think that recognizing that you did what you did, taking accountability for it, that's how you actually move past, uh, you know, the uh, the actual thing itself. That's that's what I think. Does that make sense? Or am I speaking? Am I speaking in Spanglish here? <laughs> no, I agree. Es muy claro. Do you, like, do you es muy claro. <laughs> yeah, I regret it because it was a hard point in my life. So. Yeah, right. But that's that. But that's not accountability. That's a justification, right? Not not accountability. It's like. Yeah, I regret doing it, but it, but, but, here's my justification for why it's like, really, if it, well, so, for it instance, again. so, let, so let me kind of like give you a little bit of pushback here. If if anybody came to you who's a friend of yours who was a Christian and said, think about engaging in prostitution, would you allow any justification for it? No. No. So I mean, that's that, right? So there's no reason to ever make the justification, just the responsibility aspect. And that's what will always make you stand out from, from my perspective. Hmm. You hear one, take one. And so I think that... Like, you had a sugar daddy, okay. correct? I've had, yeah. More than one? Yes. Are you, were you a dancer, too? No. Oh, two is crazy. Okay. I can't dance, unfortunately. <laughs> Fair enough. She could By dance, you mean stripping? Yes. Okay. <laughs> How many sugar daddies have you, have you had? Um... I don't think I've ever really kept count. I mean, to me, a sugar daddy is just anybody that pays you um, for, like, your time. So I did go through a phase where I was on a website where... Seeking? No, it's different. It's called whatsyourprice.com. <laughs> this is a new one. What's your price? I've not... I've used that I have one. Not She's like, that one. So you've had more than five sugar daddies. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you've had a handful of... A lot. More yeah. than 10? Yes, definitely. More than 20? Well, yes. More than 30? Probably, yes. More than... Have you done... I did it for like a year, so yes. How I've many? had How probably many? like... A hundred? Yes. <laughs> no, a hundred? <laughs> yes, when they paid for your time. Hundred different men. Do you want me to tell you how the website works sure. so that way yes. you don't question yeah, yeah. my like, sure. oh my God, I'm rich? Um, it was more so like, on um, what's your price? It's like... Um, they agree on a date with you, right? So you yeah. send, um, either you send them or they send you a request where it's like $200 for a date, just uh -huh. first date. So then you, ex you can either accept or like ask for more, ask for whatever you want. So then once you guys agree on a price for that first date, you guys yeah. go on a date, they pay you, and it's just for the first date. And then if you wish to continue or not, then that's different. Mm -hmm. So I went on a lot of first dates for, you know, two to $500. Yeah, I'm looking at the website. It says 126 is the average offer amount. 56 million. <laughs> it is the average. Does she look average? Five, I mean, five, uh, so it was never five like million. consistent. It was I've like only had probably usually. like three consistent ones. Oh, okay. 
Okay. What's your price? Yeah. But yeah, the average for first dates is usually like probably less for most people. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, my minimum was always two hundred dollars for a date. And you said you went on over a hundred dates. I did it for a year, so and I did a lot. So what so, yeah. was this like? It, How I mean, did you establish that? How did you establish that you expected two hundred dollars to be paid on the date? Well, for me, it was just like I thought like two hundred was like okay, like it's enough to pitch in for rent, bills, and all that. So I didn't but, really expect more for a first date. Okay, so so what was the average age of the men? Would you um, say that you thirties. Thirties. Okay. Of the and you, how many you said over a hundred different dates? Oh yeah. Were, did you ever go on a second date with any of these guys? Yes. Okay. But it was 100 individual men that you went on dates with? Yeah, throughout the year. Okay. Uh, and did you date any of them? Mm, date as in, like, actually wanted something like, with them? Yes. No. So your intentions to be on the app were make solely money. to make money? Correct. I mean, this is not a very good endorsement of this, uh, this, this app. Because the guys, I assume, want to go on a date. They're even willing to pay for it in the hopes of getting into a relationship. You went on 100 plus. Wait, question. So you said you went on, like, second dates? Um, yes. Thir- third dates? Yeah. Would you, like, what's the most amount of dates that you went on with one guy? Um, I would say only three of them were, like, actually, like, um, I would actually, like, see them more than once. Like, maybe, like, once a week. Okay. And they would continue to pay you for dates, right? Correct, yes. Would they have to pay you more for follow-up dates or the same? No, the just same. the same. And Sometimes they'd give me yeah. more, though, depending on like what I needed help with. Now, of the 100-plus men that you met from this website, did you sleep with any of them? No. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think here. It's a great website. <laughs> I've also used website. that. But, it's, wait, a good so website. it's a really yeah. good website. Wait, you've used it? I have used that website. You didn't tell us about the website. Well, I honestly kind of forgot about it. I, like, this is new to me. I've never heard about this before. Yeah. I'm surprised I haven't heard about it He's sooner. Like, I'm going to go sign up later. <laughs> no, I ain't paying. I don't care how hot a girl is. I ain't, I ain't spending a fucking dollar to pay. I ain't paying a girl to go on a date with me. I'm always trying to realize, Fuck like, no. why they do it, but then it yeah. also comes with, like, I just, okay. that, and I they're feel like if they're simps. already spending money on a girl, like, let's say when you're dating regular, God damn, bro. you're dating regular, and you're they're putting so much simps. money on, they're probably thinking, like, well, I'm going to spend this so oh much God. anyways. No wonder Wait, all these girls I have a question. Okay, I have a question for the ladies. <laughs> Anyone who's had a sugar daddy, do you, like, respect these men? Like, when you are in their yeah, presence? Show, just show of hands. Like, do you yes, do you respect them? the men? Show of hands. If you don't raise your hand, really? Yes, really. I respect, respect them. You're putting money on it, so let's put some respect on their name. Like that's you're doing it out of your own will if to do you, it. You wouldn't date any of them, so you don't respect them. Um, actually, just because I don't okay, date that, you doesn't well, mean you I don't did respect date the you. One guy, I guess, but he was still. But that didn't mean I didn't respect him. Like, there's a difference okay. between respecting and like. D- okay, what dating. about the guys who come to the club? Do you respect them? Are they marks um, or whatever? Uh, uh, what? What are, are they, they called? Or no, that's marks? for like prostitutes. Marks? Oh, yeah. You're talking about marks. John's. Marks? A mark, a trick. Yeah. Okay. Oh John? My God, I've John. never heard John. of mark. But like also the word trick, right? So you like think, think like when they go to the club like or when you go to the club, like people are just there to talk and mingle and stuff. But like yeah. you can't go to the club and be like, I'm going to make this a boyfriend. Like you're at the freaking sure. club. Like mm-hmm. Okay. Um Wait, any of the guys that you talked about were from this website? No, they weren't. Oh, so you got I, more than... Okay, I, you were... What? Well, I honestly forgot. How, I think how I many dates on, did you go on from this I website? I think I only ended up going on one, and like okay. I like, kind of started messaging a lot of them. I feel like yeah. a lot of them knew that it was like never going to progress to a second date. Like They knew they were just paying yeah. to Pay go. for a date. How much, yeah. did, how much did it cost I for you? I think it was like only like $150 or something. And then you've used this website too? Anybody, any other girls use this website? <laughs> Okay. How many dates have you been on from this website? Like two. Only Actually, two? Yeah. Home girl only two. over here went on a hundred. Look, she's good at like you know what I'm saying? Like well, there's good things oh, that you're at and there's shit. good things that you're not at. Like there's also like it's also consists it's of like messaging and calling and like making sure I'm okay. keeping updated with you. Like, there, yes, this date's gonna happen. But then it's also like okay, like yeah, here's a date, okay, cool, but like yeah. 
you know. Um, so with these guys on this specific website, if you were to tell them up front that you're not interested in like anything long term or even like uh, maintaining any sort of friendship or relationship, would do you think that most of them would still have taken you out and paid you? No. Okay. Well, Wait, it, they can't really expect anything. They're going on a website called What's Your Price. Like, right. You what really does that exactly entail? That. Is that like What's Your Price for me to take you out? A hundred percent. That's what it sounds like. Exactly. That's like the marketing Are of their What's Your Price. Are these guys on there for dating? Do you think or like long term? They dating? want sugar babies. Sugar okay. Babies. Oh my so god, they want like ruining a, the fucking <laughs> market. They just want like a financial. Yeah, it's I think so they know bad. what okay. they're getting into. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. most of them are unattractive. I've only seen like. Well, I got a question. Uh, you, fucking supermodels over been here. One, like, are, have you ever been on a date with a sugar daddy and you're just like instantly repulsed by them and then you feel like you have to like continue the date to like... <laughs> yeah, you know most of I mean? them are repulsive. Really? <laughs> just, by virtue, <laughs> just by virtue of them having to pay for your time well, yeah, is repulsive. But I'm just wondering if you've ever had to... Like, I saw it as like a second job, okay? Wait, I don't get... <laughs> I don't hard. get, just I don't hard. get, why don't these men just get prostitutes? I don't get it. So that's Both the thing. Just as bad. I don't know. A lot of them try to convince themselves that they're not like, oh, like I'm not paying for sex. I'm just like paying for your time, paying mm-hmm. for like your time. And if you want to have sex with me, you will, because I'm giving you all this money. But it's like in their head, I think they're just delusional. Just how like most women are delusional. I think these, there's certain type of men that are delusional too. Like they yeah. expect so much from a woman just because they take them out on a date Facts. Even if they pay them well, or not. Well, wait a second. Wait, can we back off um, or back up just for a second? Okay. You have had sugar daddies, right? Yes. And you think they're delusional men, so you're taking advantage of delusional people is what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> and and do, you, do, you, do you, if, if a man were to take advantage of a delusional woman and have sex with her, would that be okay? I'm not saying what I did was okay. I'm saying... No, no, no. no. Answer my question first. No, it's then not okay for... No, it's not okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, so why are you taking advantage of delusional men? Because it was a second job. Oh, so if a man said, oh, it was a second job for me to take uh, advantage of delusional women for sex, that would, that would be a good justification, you think? No. I'm not no. saying my no. behavior be was like, correct. Weird. What I did was totally in the wrong... Mm-hmm. But I still did it, right? I'm I have an accountability for so it. So I, I have a question on this. Uh, you did say there were a couple of guys who you'd go on multiple dates with. Were you kind of, fr- I mean, manipulative? I would, yeah. Yes. Like you would. Fucking honestly. Manipulating the delusion. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, so yes, wait. I manipulated but so you want to hear you, my story? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you would, knowing that you had no romantic interest, because I could, you could kind of make the argument that you're like, you go on the first date and you're like, I'm giving them a chance. But usually for most people, after the first date, they've made a determination as to whether they want to continue seeing this person or not, right? Most people actually make that up within five seconds, five minutes of first meeting somebody, but they'll usually continue on with the date to be polite. But you've had the first date with these men. Some of them you'd continue to have, you know, second, third, fourth dates. Did you make the determination on the first date with these men that you continued to go on dates with that you had zero romantic interest in them and that there would never be anything? Um. I didn't hear the first part of the question, um, but like no, like I didn't ever want anything romantic out of any of them. Right. So I mean, you <laughs> you were just doing it for the money. For money, correct. Because I I could sort of get it where the girls like, well, if I'm gonna go on these dates, I look, I disagree with it, but uh, I at least want it to be worth my time, and maybe I will find a guy who I'll like. Potentially, I'm open to the idea of dating one of these men who's paying this money, but I think, and I'm not, I'm not even prepared to even grant that that's the case for most of these women, even on the first date. But let's say it is. But it does kind of call into the question once you start going on multiple dates with them, where I'm like, okay, now you're milking. Mm-hmm. Now it's like 
there's not even a shot in hell, a chance in hell, any of these men have a romantic or sexual chance with you. And so that's a bit of a quarrel I have there. Uh, where it's well, the like, one that I, I can at least date. give you a pass if you're like, well, I'm giving them a shot for the first date. But I'm still not giving you a pass even for that. But if I'm being charitable, I will. Okay. But I'm not. But why would I give so, them like a shot if I'm not attracted to them? Well, don't they have their photos on the thing? Yeah, but like what so I'm saying though is like, so like after I go on the date to like obviously make money, um, why would I continuously give them a shot if like I don't, I'm not attracted to them? And it was, if it was just for the money too, but yeah, I see your point. But you would, I guess I'm kind of getting at is would you lead them on because there's, it takes two to tango, right? So you have to want to continue to go on the dates to make more money, mm -hmm. but they have to continue to want to go on the dates because they think it will be in pursuit of a potential romantic relationship. No. So are you essentially playing a game where it's like you're feigning romantic interest in them? No, they want, at the end of the day, most of them, like I know they wanted like sugar babies, right? So this was when I was like 19, 20 at the time. Okay. Um, <clears throat> most of them just wanted sexual encounters without like, having like um in the back of in my opinion i think they just didn't want in the back of the mind that they were going to a prostitute i think they wanted to like believe that they were dating the person that like they were gonna hook up with like i think all of them wanted to hook up with me and i did give them the idea that like because my whole facade was that like i was super religious and i was like gonna be uh, interested in like dating them. is crazy. Them. <laughs> that was my story. That was like my story. I would tell them like, oh, I'm so looking, yeah, it was I would lie to them. Yeah. yeah, I would lie to them saying like, oh, oh yeah, like boy. I, I want to date you okay. and like it can become sexual like if like I want to be in a relationship oh, with you. Okay. Oh, um, so at the end of the day, like I feel like they were working towards that. Um, even though like, I mean, for me, it was just like all a lie. And then for one of them, I mean, I think he <laughs> deserved it because he was married. So... Like, that's the one that, like... You yeah. milked him. I milked him. <laughs> milked him. He had a whole you ass wife. Him. He you wanted should learn to, your like, lesson. What's that <laughs> saying? Learn your lesson. When is that saying? A fool is parted with his money or something? I don't know. Um, I mean, and, me and Andrew have had a back and forth on this. We agree... I mean, I don't think men should be using these services and they're kind of, I think they're stupid if they do use them. They are. But obviously <laughs> there's also manipulative women on these services. <laughs> mm. Uh, mm. So. What's well, what they get, right? I mean. Well, uh, no. No, 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 that's not I don't, what they get. So, I don't so think so this is not. this is what I mean by the kind of this like, double standard woman speak that drives me fucking crazy uh just mere moments ago what i did was wrong andrew what I, I should not have done that this was incorrect this was immoral this was bad and then literally what 10 minutes later it's that's what they fucking get so you, you gotta make up your mind is that what they get or is sorry? it that you were doing something that's bad like which one is it I think it comes to a point like nowadays it's a little bit more like answer, accessible. Hang on. Hang on, let her answer. Which one is it? Answer. I feel like that's a tough one because like at the end of the day it's, it's like everyone's one. actions, right, is like has consequences. Um my that's consequences? Consequences, yeah. No, I consequences, mean, okay. Gotcha. Consequences, Go ahead. right? So it's like their actions of like paying a woman uh, to like go spend time with them like that deserves the consequence that like you might get played like I mean <laughs> they, you said that they, they, but wait they, you said that these men you would think are they delusional. were smart enough they build businesses right you would think they mm -hmm. like like a business model to get people in right marketing all that so it's like why would you pay a woman to like go on a romantic <laughs> date? Well, wait, wait. It's, it's really funny to me that now suddenly there's some justification here where you're saying, well, wait a second. It's actually really tough for me to decide if I did what I did was wrong or incorrect no, or whatever. Wait, where, hang on. Let me finish now. Whereas just a few minutes ago, you said, wait, uh, these men were delusional and it's wrong to take advantage of delusional people. Uh, so I would like to know how this isn't a complete and total contradiction because that's exactly what it sounds like is a, is a literal contradiction everybody can see. Can you tell us which one is correct? 
Instead of continuously contradicting yourself, can you just tell us, are these delusional men that you took advantage of, or did they have it coming? You can't say both, right? <laughs> no? Am I wrong in you, thinking like you both? You can say both like, if you want to contradict yourself. Like... Is it okay to take advantage of delusional people because they have it coming? That would be the entailment, right? So either it's, it's okay to take advantage of delusional people because they got it coming because they're delusional, or it's, it's incorrect to take advantage of delusional people. So it's, it's got to be one or the other, right? It depends on the situation, for their situation specifically, right? Because, like, delusional can be, like, in different terms, like, different people, Oh, really? Right? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought delusional means disconnected from reality. Okay. Is so, that, would you agree that that's what delusional, what else could delusional mean besides disconnected from reality? Well, you know how, like, women are reality? delusional with, like, with, like, men and, like, it's dating. perfect relationship and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah like, women so women can justify... Reality. Women justify a lot of, like, men's actions because they're delusional that, like, they think, like, he really means one thing when in reality he doesn't. Well, so, well hang on. Let's, let's back up real quick. Let's just make sure we get this down. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me that delusional that right means there. disconnected from reality? It's what that comment says, the blame versus fall. I think that makes perfect yeah, sense. Yeah, forget the comment. Do you agree with me that delusional means disconnected from reality? Yes. <clears throat> okay. And if somebody's disconnected from reality, do you think it's okay to take advantage of them because they don't understand that they're being taken advantage of because they're delusional, they're disconnected from reality, right? No. 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 So then if that's the case, how could they have it coming? I guess it's just more so my bias against these men that just pay for women. Oh, okay. So, so I think it's just don't. my bias. But I don't understand. So they do they have it coming or don't they have it coming? They're for sure not coming. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, yeah, no. like the right thing to say is no, yes. Okay, but is that what you believe? No. <laughs> no. So, so you do think they have it coming even if they're delusional. So I just want to let you know there's some entailments there that you should know, right? That means that if there was a woman who was delusional, let's say, was disconnected from reality, if a man took advantage of her from, for sex, what would your objection then be? Consequence of It's just biased, right? So it's just like, no, I don't like agree with that, but... Oh, you don't agree with that. So now you have a complete double Correct. standard and Correct. you're contradicting yes. yourself again, right? But who doesn't have a double standard, so? Many people don't have a double standard when it, or many people don't uh, move into contradiction territory, especially. I can understand even if you said I'm hypocritical, I could even deal with that. But this is literally just a contradiction in terms. Mm -hmm. It's a contradiction to say it's wrong for you to take advantage of somebody who's delusional. It's just okay for me to do it because I want to. I don't, like, I don't, I don't understand what you're actually saying here. I'm saying, like, those men, like, that are delusional and paying for women, like, it's okay to take advantage of them. Um, but what I'm not, what I'm, what I'm saying, though, is, like for, like, for a man to take advantage of a woman or vice versa in, like, the dating realm, I don't think uh -huh. it's right. So, like, oh, what, because it can be, it can be vice versa. Like, a woman can take advantage of a man, too. Let's, hang on, let's back up again. In what fucking world could that ever make sense? In what world does it make sense to say it's okay to take care to take advantage of delusional men for money, but it's not okay for men to take advantage of delusional women for sex? In what fucking world can you square these two ideas? Well, they have the money to spend anyway, so... Uh, oh, she has the sex to give anyways. Yeah, but it's more like... Well, not for every woman, but like some women yeah, would consider men. that like... So like every An single emotional. thing that you say, everything, every single thing you say can just be applied right back at you, right? It's like, oh, well, they have the money to burn. Well, women have the sex to give. Oh, well, they knew what they were getting into. Okay, well, then they knew what they were getting into. It's like all of these things can be applied in both aspects. So I either mean, it's maybe, wrong, you did that. wrong, and you took advantage of delusional people, and that's incorrect, or you have to bite the bullet that, wait, it's just okay to take advantage of delusional people if you have some motivation that's self-serving. So I just really need to know which one it is. <laughs> Graffito tagged donated $200. Hey, good to see you, you back offer in the a chat. service, have a verbal agreement, and the customer then pays for that service. You now admit you never intended to fully provide the service offered. 
That's the definition of a scam. But I don't want to be derailed by this because it's worse. It's actually worse. Right. It's worse. Because it's a contradiction, it's a contradiction in term where you are saying actually that delusional men have less value than delusional women. That's what you're actually saying. Delusional men, less valuable than delusional women. Right? Isn't that what you're actually saying? I guess, in a way. Yeah. But then if she was a man and then doing it, it would be like the same thing. It would be contradicting. She can't really give the standpoint of a male if she's not in that position. So she can say like, oh, it's delusional for a man to do that. But like she can't say it's delusional for a woman because it's not like she's getting paid from women to do it. If it was a woman. We don't need her to. We don't need it. her to take it from the. Well, you're, you're, you're correct in a sense. I don't need her to take it from a female perspective. Uh, I need her to take it from a male perspective, right? So the, the ask here is from your perspective, that of the woman. Is it okay for men to take advantage of delusional women for sex? The answer is no. Then how could it be okay to take advantage of delusional men for money? The answer is I don't fucking know. So that's why I'm just like, well, can you reconcile these two things so they make sense to me? Like it's money, like it's it's yeah. different, right? So in well, oh, in my different. in my opinion, right? It's like it's not like I'm making them spend millions, right? I'm not making them go broke. When a woman like when a man lies to a woman to get her into bed, like I feel like they're versus messing, lying to they're him messing, for money, huh? Versus lying to him for money. Correct. Yes, I think it's like. Why is there? What What is the distinction here? I don't understand. So when a man lies to a woman to get her into bed and like makes her think like she's like the only one or etc., it's like that's like feelings, emotions, and trauma. A guy that I take money from is not going to be traumatized at the end of the day because they know what they signed up why for. When would, they signed no, up wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hang on. That's what I was meaning by why, all of this. Why, why do we? First of all, we have a bunch. We have a bunch of suppositions here that need to be attacked. Right. So the first one is. How can you say that this would always come from trauma if a man is taking care or a man is exploiting a delusional woman for sex? You could never make the claim that that is traumatic while at the same time saying that it could never be traumatic for a man to be exploited for money. How, how in the world could you ever make those claims? Because how would a man be traumatized for losing $200? Because they feel like they were taken advantage of the same way a woman would if you lied to her for sex, right? No. Yes. No. Oh, can no. No. Well, okay, really so do you, can you give me the counter to that besides yeah. no? You, you have a different perspective? Well, yeah. So no, 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 no. Let's not get into your perspective. Let's finish our conversation. <laughs> so not gonna, I'm not going to let you That's duck right. out of the convo so quickly, unfortunately, for you. So <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you reconcile these two positions for me? I thought I explained myself already. Where no, I think you didn't really explain yourself at all. I, I want to know why it's okay to take care of del or to take advantage of delusional men, but not delusional women. I actually do want to know why that's okay. I explained it because, like, taking money from a guy where it's like little money, like I don't see that being traumatizing, especially since they. What about a little bit ahead? If a woman just gives you a little bit ahead. If she just gives you a little tiny, like she just puts the dick in her mouth for a couple of seconds. Right? Is that is that you know that's that's not really taking that much advantage of her, right? She just she only put it in her mouth for a couple of seconds, right? Or or she only has sex one time with the guy instead yeah, of the, one time. it's not really once. taking advantage, right? It's just one time. She, she just licked the tip. She just licked the tip. It's not really taking advantage, right? How does that correlate with two hundred dollars for a date? Because the exploitation is the same. It's the same okay. metric. The idea of the same metric is it's okay just to fuck this guy over because it's a small amount of money. It's like okay, well then it's okay to fuck her over because it's just a tiny amount of head. Tiny amount of sex. Yeah, but it's not tiny amount. But it's not realistic. Yeah, it is realistic. Men take advantage of delusional women for sex. You would agree that that's true. No, but women are taking advantage of delusional of is not women are taking advantage of delusional men for money. How is this not correlated in the dating market, especially since you just got done telling me all of the different times you took advantage of men you consider to be delusional for money? How is this not correlative? Because they just don't correlate with each other. No, because they're too, because, <laughs> because, well, they're not because they're not. Great, perfect. You helped me reconcile the two positions. Thank you so much. But wouldn't you say, though, Andrew, that both parties are 
to blame in that? Or like, wouldn't you kind of hold both parties accountable for that? Because I feel like they're both kind of the same, on you know, the same level, I feel like. Thing. I think that you, you as a person who is not a mentally deranged <laughs> lunatic, <laughs> and knowing that you're not a mentally deranged lunatic and are dealing with a mentally deranged lunatic, have a higher duty to not do the wrong thing, specifically because you're not mentally deranged. When you acknowledge the fact, you acknowledge this, this is delusion, this is, this is wrong, this is incorrect, they have wrong think, they're not engaging with the world properly, you know for sure that you're taking advantage of that person. That's where the problem comes in, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know any of you, I know, that, I know now for, like, for sure that the woman that I just talked to in the orange is totally delusional, right? Just like incomprehensibly delusional. So I know that it's no longer responsible for me to continuously harp on the idea that she's living in all sorts of performative contradictions because it's clear that she's not living in the same reality that I am. So I just move the conversation on, right? Because what else can I do when you're dealing with somebody who's delusional? What else can you do? Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely not going to be taking advantage of her for money or taking advantage of her for, you know, any other thing. All I would ever try to do is try to get her to reconcile the, the contradiction so she wasn't fucking delusional anymore. I think that that is the best thing I could ever do, right? What, like, what else could I do? Hmm. Interesting. Stop being fucking delusional. Interesting. Uh, I, <laughs> we are going to move on to something else here in just a sec, but it is all your guys' stories on this. I do kind of think, uh, comparatively speaking, that women have dating and life on easy mode compared to men. Any, anybody, any bites on that? I agree. agree. That. I yeah. totally yeah. agree. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's yeah. easy being a girl for it's the most part. It's really great being well, a girl. Why, like, for example, yeah. like, OF is, like, such a big thing now, because I feel like back then it wasn't. And, like, now, like, when you say, like, entertainment, like, I feel like that's such, like, a big thing now. Wait, like, okay. sorry. OF? What? OnlyFans. 